Alright, we're back and we have Hunter Hunter again. I think it's two Hunter Hunter videos back to back. I obviously haven't posted in some time. But we have again a new PV or trailer, whatever you want it to call it, for the manga. I think it's for volume 38. Obviously that just came out yesterday. I want to talk a little bit more about the news and what we got uh, new with that. Uh, very exciting stuff. And then we have basically just a PV, a trailer of just the Phantom Troops. I've that's gonna be really cool. So let's react to that and then we'll talk a little bit more about what we got new with the volume. It's related to the Phantom Troop, uh, Pakunoda in particular. So if you haven't heard about it, stay tuned. We'll talk about it. Let's go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're getting close to the new chapters and let's go. The coin. York new. Is that Prolo's first appearance? This music though. I love that, we're probably gonna switch. Very emotional, right? The old... Drinking, Frodo smiling. Yeah, when they let loose for the first time. Pretty iconic panel for the Phantom Troop right there. R.I.P. Uvo, Requiem. Cinema. I can order. Soka. Gonna kill everyone. They are actually showing some of the flashback of this new volume. Ooh, the music change. Horrifying. The church bells, the bells. Ooh, that was very cool. Uh, they always cook. There's always kind of an ambience going, right? Um, the music was perfect. So creepy and haunting, right? Um, and if you've read this last batch of 10 chapters with the backstory, uh, yeah, this is fitting. Uh, very sad, ominous. I think that was great, man. Just showing the start of the Phantom Troop, like having Pakunoda as well, Krollos Requiem, him crying, Uvo's dead right there, even showing Shalnark here, and then this, Isoka right after that moment, Krollo just being enraged, and uh, this current arc. By the way, we haven't seen Krollo other than the flashback, of course, we haven't actually seen him for, I mean, it's not that much chapters, but like 23 chapters, so it's been a while. I mean, in story, 23 chapters it is not something too, too crazy, but obviously for how long it took for us to get those 23 chapters, it just feels like an eternity. Especially here at the end, with the kind of glitching, was the sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny as well to have this, like... The volume of Gone is super light, everything seems happy. Oh, this is gonna be a light volume. Uh, yeah, about that. So I think the contrast of that volume in the middle with this music and the glitching at the end here as well. <laughs> that was really well done. So if you guys haven't seen, you know, the new volume, this volume, uh, volume 38, just came out in Japan. We're probably not gonna get that volume for some time for us. But it looks like uh, there's no additions really other than one uh, page that I'm gonna talk about right here. Um, it's pretty much the same, which kind of makes sense because because this last uh, batch of chapters was just really well done. There wasn't really anything that needed to be redrawn or that lacked details. I think it was just pretty solid the whole way through. So, so uh, the big thing that we got is this chapter. Uh, thankfully, some people were able to um, translate it. At first we got two different translation, uh, but this one I think is the more official one and I like this one much better than the other one. So we get here Pakunoda and Renko. Uh, if you guys remember, Renko was in the flashback of the Phantom Troop. She's basically the one that teached uh, Nen to Machi. Um, as far as we know, that was the only person um, that maybe learned from Renko, but uh, to me it made sense that 
Machi wasn't gonna be the only one, some of the other Phantom Troop members were gonna join her. Um, so it looks like Pakunada as well was trained by her, so we can maybe assume that the old Phantom Troop learned Nenabal with her, um, maybe other than Krollo, Krollo might have did his own thing, I'm not quite sure on that. So they talk about, you know, they bo they're both special, so Renko being a specialist is a cool detail. They talk about limitations, what the if Pakunoda has one, what she wants to use as a limitation, and she says that she already has one. And there's an interesting line here, right, by Renko, um, since many end up regretting starting with something too hard, and she suggests that you should, you know, implement those as you train, as you get further in your training. That line is really good because it kind of calls back to or refers a little bit to Kurapika and this arc. In the early stages of this arc on the boat, Kurapika has a line where he says that the conditions that he put for his Emperor time that he's using are much more dangerous and harsh than he thought at first. You know, right now, it's really beating his ass on the boat. Like, he's going through it right now, Kurapika, and he's might be regretting a little bit of how harsh his conditions and restrictions that he put on himself so i think that line there is really cool but obviously the most important thing here and the best one is that expression for from pakunoda and this line i will never touch the person i cherish the most so the, knowing now the restriction that pakunoda had on her ability and that she can never touch basically crollo she can never use her ability on crollo i mean this adds so much to her character and for what happens in york new um we already got a lot of elevation for uvogin's character from york new just in the flashback that we got in this volume but just this little thing to add to Pakunoda's character um, because as we know if she touched the person she can uh, bring back their memories right um, she can learn and see uh, some of their memories and in this flashback we know what Krollo saw and how he felt about Sarasa right and her death and that letter that he was able to read and that he didn't want to tell anyone about what was written on this letter so her deciding to not be able to touch Krollo in that sense. Krollo doesn't want to talk about it, so she doesn't want to touch with any memories. She doesn't want uh, that with Krollo. There's that, right? And then there's the other aspect that feels more symbolic with this line in her power, right? She's never gonna be able to touch the person she cherished mo the most from this point on, uh, because at this point, Krollo is going on a path, a dangerous path, a villain path that is gonna kill people. And as we see the Krollo currently, nobody can really understand and touch him, even himself, he doesn't understand who he is right now, so nobody can really touch the real Krollo, you know, who he really is. So in that aspect, it's like Pakunoda saying she's not gonna be able to connect with this Krollo that she loved when they were younger, because he's gonna become a totally different person. And she's never going to be able ever to change him, understand him, uh, being close to him. Um, there's just a lot back in this line that I can go on. So the fact that Togashi is able to do something like this with just a one page scribbled, you know, it's not, it didn't take too much time drawing this at all. Uh, but it just adds so much to Pakunoda's character and even a little bit to crawl in my opinion, so. Good stuff, and I know in the volume as well, since this page is right after the backstory, we can actually see in the bottom page where there's just text, there's no drawing, you can kind of see through the page, and through the page, what we see is Krollo, um, just behind, under this line, which is just perfect. <laughs> I don't know if it's intentional by Togashi or whatever, but it's pretty cool lastly uh togashi is continuing to draw it's up and down it's we are back we're so not there anymore because togashi is back he's hurting more but he keep pushing he's still drawing he was feeling a little bit better but now when he draws the color page when he has to color stuff this is where it really hurts his back um, so he had to do that color page and it really hurt his back, but now he's still doing the storyboards. Tomorrow he should be doing the inking of the pages, continue that. Um, so we'll see where that goes, he's still going. We're a month away from new chapters, so I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for being here and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. So don't forget to like and subscribe and that's it. See you.